Everybody, how you doing? I just wanted to bring this to you, all my friends out there on Facebook and YouTube. I'm about to get married. It's 10 days away, and I can't see my lady until we get we go get married. All right. So now, these are the children. This is what I bought for her. She just loves it, and that's my baby right there. Huh, baby? Sing for daddy. You gonna sing for me? Wow, as you can see, I raised decent, proper, moral, respectable young ladies who knows how to keep their freaking legs crossed. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. That's right. And this right here, that's the actual throne for the wife. So when she comes after we get married, she's going to sit right here and she will be the actual uh, Venus slide trap amongst all my other beautiful plants in my garden of Eden. <laughs> I don't know anybody that's got it better than I do where I've got an apple waiting for her 
to go ahead and make me get a bite out of that. Bang! That's what I'm talking about. Hey, everybody. How you doing? This is Dr. Philip Dreis living my life and giving you a piece of it. After four years of homelessness and six years prior to that, trying not to become homeless because of a retaliation scheme by Mayor Michael R. Bloomberg's administration. And they're all busted. And that's what this is about. So let's start with the cooking show. All right, I hung the, the ferns. I hooked up this thing right here, this contraption I made. Look at how the rubber plant has just come, just, just come out. Getting bigger than the snake plant right there. And the party's going to start right here, baby. The party's going to start right here. So the first thing we do, so we go ahead and put our chef's hat on. Bloomberg, you lost. You lost because you see, this is what you want me to turn into. I'm not going to turn into that. You see that? That's right, Mayor Bloomberg. Mayor Bloomberg, you just lost it. I don't know what else to tell you. You just lost it, Mayor Bloomberg. You just lost it. I will not, under any circumstances, turn into that. So, Mayor Bloomberg, you hit a dead end. Sorry. See that guy pushing that shopping cart, Charlene? You see that, Bill? That's what they wanted me to turn into. I'm not going to turn into that. Wow, how you feeling? My name is Dr. Philip Joyce, and I just love my life. And everything that I do, I do it to bring it to you because I love you. Without you, I could not have got my story out. No one would understand. No one would be able to connect. Whether it's now or a hundred years from now, it doesn't make any difference. I'm going to have to move on with my life. And all the things that I do, I do it for one reason. I do it for me first. God gets it next, and then let him distribute it to everybody else. I haven't been here in two months. <clears throat> and I need that taken care of. And I feel no pain. <laughs> That's what I want to do to that right there. Trust me. Yeah. Can I say it again? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby, this is me. I'm coming to you live. And it's just a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And what we got right now is we got the eighth cooking show. Now you can see me. Now you can see me. So I believe we may want to actually put on the other chef hat. This is the cowboy chef hat you saw right there. This is the Airborne Ranger chef hat. That's Airborne Ranger Cook. I was one of those. And then we actually want to go to where I really got it made. To where, bang, that's what I'm talking about right here, baby. That's what I'm talking about, all right? But my mother was a cordon bleu chef. And I did not inherit her skills for cooking. But, but, I can wear the hat. Okay, I can't wear the hat. That's right. 
because you can call me the executive chef. That's right. Call me the executive chef that handles the paperwork. So let's get to some paperwork. This is also an open letter to Councilman Reuben Wills, who I've been I've caught you spying on me. I've sent you a couple of video links. I tried to become your friend. I tried to be nice, but you are crooked, black Democrat, elected official in Southeast Queens, and I can't understand American politics to where you are crook going to jail, getting handcuffed, and I got your picture, and my boys told me about you because we all know each other from Southeast Queens. Yeah, I'm quitting the smoking. You see? I'm cutting down. Now I went from the long ones to the short ones, and I clip these, and I take a couple puffs, and I put it down. I don't have to use just for men anymore my mustache because my lady says, you don't need it. I like it. So she likes a couple gray hairs on me. That's a beautiful thing. So now, let's continue. You know what? Let's have a drink. Let's have a drink. That's what we're going to do right now to get the party started. Things go better with Coca-Cola, baby. That's the Vanini decanter right there, straight out of Italy. Hand-blown, hollowed glass. That's the wine. Goblet right there. And we got vodka all down there. But, you know, I ain't into all that drinking. And I save these bottles because each one of them actually turns into a bottle for a particular plant. That's right. That's right. That's what we got. And this is where I'd be sitting at, hanging out with you on Facebook. Now, now that I've got my chef's hat on, it's time that we get to the cooking show. This is the eighth cooking show. And I'd like to thank you, Councilman Reuben Wills, because the allegations are you're the guy who sent the police to call me and to tell me to take down these videos that's on YouTube about the black elected officials of Southeast Queens that are the alleged black mafia that I exposed some years back that forced Shirley Huntley into retirement Malcolm Smith is still in prison, getting patted on his booty by Bubba. And Bubba is going to teach him the planetary rotations of Uranus. That, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So, Reuben Wills, you and your Detective Gordon of the 109th Precinct. I don't know if that's even a real precinct. I don't think that's even his real name. He called from a private number. I should have let him go ahead and leave a message so I could have played the message for somebody so I'm not taking no more private calls. But then what do you think I did, Councilman Reuben Wills? I took that video link. I made a brand new video. That's right. And I'm going to post it at the bottom of this show. To support the allegations, now, I took that video, 30-minute show, I sent it to the governor, I'm about to send it to the mayor, then I went out and just sent it to everybody. <laughs> you don't want me to do what? You don't appreciate me what, Detective Gordon? You don't appreciate the videos of it. It's called journalism and it's constitutional. You're tampering with the civil prosecutor of the United States on human rights violations. Boy, you should learn your place. Boy, you're a civil servant. You get paid tax dollars. You don't work privately under the color of law. 
for black Democrat elected officials that are crooked as the Nazi cross. And there's no way of putting them out of the office. Yes, there is. Like how I did it. You send the information to the attorney general and you get an investigation going. You slap a lawsuit on them. Even if the judge want to dismiss it, guess what? Cheers to you, Honorable Justice Phyllis Olikoff uh, 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 Flug at New York State Supreme Court in Queens County. Here's to you, baby. Your dismissal don't mean shit. I just reversed you. <laughs> Donna Fury's on the hook for $300,000 for the $100,000 for stuff she had taken out of my home. That's right. That's right, she's a crook. And I got your gang in a Hatch Act violation. Ah, how you like that? So Councilman Ruben Wills, you need to stay in your place, boy. Read my lips, boy. But this is not about a bad thing. This is about my cooking show and talking some straight up urban trash, baby. Damn! That's what I'm talking about. Now let's get to the eating. This is what this show's about. And we got to say thank you to Dr. Fitzgeorge Medina who stopped by to see me and then he bought me everything I needed for the cooking show. So let's get to the cooking show. And it's not about cooking. It's about eating and talking urban trash, baby. But that's what I'm talking about. Oh, Detective Gordon. You like my cooking shows, and I should stick with that and not do political accountability documentaries? Mm. Bang! Peace be on to you, Bubba. Let the eating begin. Thank you, Dr. Fitzgeorge Medina. Apple cider. And we got, we cooking, we cooking right here. This is, this is, this is cooking right here. This is cooking right here. Let me, let me, let me help you, let me help you. Oh yeah, baby. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, 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 uh. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. 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 Uh -huh. A sweet potato. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm looking about. Damn right. So what we got right here, and this stock right there, right there. See that? That's a 500-page legal brief with all the exhibits. That's right. And then I'm going to put the demand letter together. I'm not going to give them the video. I'm not going to clown around with these guys. It's a dead serious. It's dead serious. It's oxtail. Mm. It's just chicken butt. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm. Hi, Donna Fury. I'm glad you lost your job as a general counsel to the Queens County clerk because you're a crook who got that job because you helped railroad me out of my house, tried to have me locked up in a Jewish nonprofit mental institution. Those are the exact words of the doctor. And you supported that. That's right. Now it's about taking you to the disciplinary committee and taking your law license. That's right. That's right. Stephen Wontrop, you too. Oh, why don't you go back and do your breath tester business? You worked on me for five years. I spent four years in homelessness. I ain't got a freaking dime to put my business back together. And you want to tell me to just go ahead and give it up. <laughs> I'm not giving up on you, Stephen Wildtrap. Remember how, what I did to you? Hmm? Right, every time I see you, I run over and hug you. I love this white man in front of all these black people. I was looking at me like I was crazy in front of the courthouse. 
You thought you had your slave that loved you no matter how bad you mistreated him. I set you up for that, and I got you. And I got bragging rights. Oh, these collard greens now. Come on now. This is African-American cooking that is best. <coughs> Oxtail, sweet potato, um, macaroni side, then more stuff. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm? Look at that. Hmm? Right there. Right there. This is the A Reality TV show, cooking show. That's not about cooking. It's about talking urban trash. That's what this is about. I'm, I'm calling you out, Councilman Ruben Wells. I'm calling you out. We need to pony up some explanations, my friend. We need to pony up some explanations about you sending people after me. Do the same crap Congressman Mix and Senator Huntley did and got busted. Okay? You need to stop that nonsense. I'm a United States Army veteran. I'm a good guy. I'm legal. Everything I do is freaking legal. So you need to leave my behind alone. I'm a Haitian. I don't belong to nobody. Okay? I ain't an emancipated slave. Okay? And I'm stuck in America and don't know what the hell to do when I've been freaking abused. By these religious zealots that own, run, and control this freaking town. I ganged up on my ass. And you black, n-word, elected officials hung my black ass out the freaking dry. Thanks. I was able to show everybody how much of a super bastard I was. Such a super motherfucker. That makes my woman just like, what'd she say? Oh, baby, I have to cross my legs. <clears throat> That's right. I got me a woman. That's my woman. I ain't her bitch. You get my point? She respects a man. And I make her, I make her ovulate. That's some great shit. Now we're going to have some little dresses running around. Yeah, in another country. In another country. Because I'm not going to take this crap in New York City. Now, unless I'm a Jewish white boy, I can't have nothing. I can't go nowhere. I ain't nobody. I ain't shit. Man, all I know is what in the hell y'all done did to me. You all in the Mike Bloomberg administration. We're just running amok. It's all right. Thank you very much. I don't hate you. <laughs> I don't hate you. You guys made me absolutely freaking famous by deploying the countermeasures that I did to your retaliation scheme. And looking to destroy my life and send me into freaking oblivion. Do I look like I'm in oblivion to you? <laughs> Stephen Wattrop, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Donna Ferry, Jamie Butchin, Mary Michael R. Bloomberg, Robert Doerr, Linda Gibbs. That's another commissioner. I got all your names, all your fames, and all your freaking glory belong to me in my freaking pocket. The harvest is and sell it. <sighs> Let's do some more eating. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. That's about you gonna give me some freaking respect. You guys been running them up, making a bad name for your people, and acting like you're freaking omnipotent. You ain't omnipotent because you ain't God. Okay? I'm a Haitian. My primary religion is voodoo. My Jesus Christ is Toussaint Louverture. That's my savior. That's right. That's my savior who died for me. To make us free men. For us to declare our independence in 1804. Repel the British. Repelled the Spaniards after we took a colony from France. That's why the English hate the French so much. They're the only ones that ever lost it. So you black Americans, you all need to get off the bandwagon of hating the French. Because it means we're free and you can join us. America. Great country for white people. 
unless you black with a lot of money. Well, they took mine. This is a freaking rebellion revolt for equality for everybody from now on. They shouldn't have took me there, and I wouldn't have had to do this. And everybody who's been helping me have been Europeans, white people. That see that when I say I want to free my people, that's because they can become self-productive and eliminate that whole welfare thing they got going on. And all these women, like like my neighbor next door. He's 30 years old, you got a 12-year-old kid, you got a couple of kids. And, you know, life is hard for her. Life is hard for her. I feel sorry for her. I feel sorry for them children, so I got to make mine and do better. And try to be nice to them and accommodate them and all that goddamn ghetto fucking savage noise that motherfuckers make. But that's all right. I can take it. I can take it. I'm not going to complain no more. I ain't going to the landlord and saying shit. I ain't saying shit to her. I can take it. It's called getting you some freaking headphones. I know their pattern. They meant they come from school. They high energy. I'll go to the freaking gym. I can live with people. I can accommodate them. You guys decided that y'all is going to make me want to leave the United States and get the hell out of here and say the hell with y'all. So that is. <laughs> I love my friends. I thank you very much, but I don't have to stay in the United States. So I got three years before I leave. I retired 62 years old. I'm going to buy me a one. I'm going to get my papers together. And I'm a great. I think I'm going to go to Australia. I'm going to be 62 years old in three years and two months. So in three years and six months, I'll be living in Australia. That's, that's where we at. So Reuben Wills, bang, that's what I'm talking about. Peace be on to you, councilman. Go tell Congressman Meeks I want his punk ass in jail. That's right. <laughs> Congressman Gregory W. Meeks, you need to be in freaking jail for trying to have me eliminated by the Queen's District Attorney's Office. But that's all right. I'll take that $1 million that the New York City Comptroller approved. You will, your attorney will be receiving the demand letter along with everything they will need to see that they have no possibility of winning. So I can go to Australia and get me a brand new home. Brand new home. Yeah, I loved the United States when I had money. I'm not loyal to torture. I'm not loyal to pain. I'm not loyal to hurtful, wrongful, psychological coercion. I'm not no freaking slave here. And I ain't never gonna be. Never. 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 So let's see. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Go to Australia and, uh, Open me up. Go to Australia and uh, buy enough land in the outback. Cheap. And start raising white standard poodles for sale. All I need is three dogs. Two, two females, one male. Champion bloodlines for good papers. Mm-hmm. Then raise ostriches too. I can see that as a nice export market to the United States to give you leaner meat than the beef that's killing you. Mm-hmm. That's right. So I'm moving to Australia. That's right. I'm moving to Australia. Mm-hmm. I'll be happy as hell. All right? I don't think they're as prejudiced as these boys in New York City, boys and girls. A lot of wonderful white folks. I haven't met too many until I came to Facebook. Except for Gary Giuliano. I love the judge. I love his ass to death. 
I'm the kind of guy I do anything for my friend. Mm-hmm. Well, baby, this is the end of the cooking show. For now, mm-hmm. You gotta see me spit out a little, another little bone after I don't suck the marrow out of it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm.